Have you ever wondered what happened to Albert Einstein's brain? His brain was so special, it was stolen just after few hours of his death. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to Just Curious, and hit that notification bell, so you can keep up with my latest video. Albert Einstein was a theoretical physicist born in Germany, he is considered as one of the geniuses of the 20th century. He won the Nobel Prize for his theory of relativity and the law of the photoelectric effect. Einstein states in his biography that his brain should not be used for research and that he be cremated. He never wanted his brain or any body part to be studied or worshipped. He understood all too well the public's obsession with him. He was aware of people's obsession with celebrity and specialness. He knew that if given the chance, scientists would pour over his brain and make grand pronouncements about what makes a genius. That's how smart Einstein was. When Einstein died at age 76 on April 18, 1955, in Princeton Hospital, his brain was stolen by the doctor on call, Thomas Dole's Harvey, without the permission of Einstein's family. When he was caught, he reasoned with his family that he wanted to study his brain purely for science. Einstein's eldest son, Hans Albert Einstein, eventually gave Harvey the permission, but insisted that his father's brain should be used only for scientific research purposes. Harvey soon lost his job at the Princeton Hospital, and took the brain with him to the University of Pennsylvania, where he dissected it into several pieces. The brain weighs only 1,230 grams, less than the average adult male brain which weighs about 1,400 grams. Harvey sliced Einstein's brain into about 240 pieces, preserved in psyllidum, while others were stored in his basement. He kept some of the pieces to himself, while other pieces were given to leading pathologists. Harvey also removed Einstein's eyes, and then gave them to Einstein's ophthalmologist. If you think the story can't get any weirder, it does. After Harvey's wife threatened to dispose of the brain, he went to retrieve it, and then took the brain with him in Kansas, where he kept most of the brain stored inside two glass jars, refrigerated inside a beer cooler. Scientific studies have suggested that regions involved in speech and language are smaller, while regions involved with numerical and spatial processing are larger. Einstein's brain tissue was thinner and more densely packed, which researchers speculated that cell-to-cell -cell messages travel shorter differences, which might mean faster processing speed overall. This unusual brain anatomy may explain why Einstein thought the way he did. When Harvey died, his ears transferred all the remains of Einstein's brain to the National Museum of Health and Medicine, including 14 photographs of the whole brain, never before revealed to the public. There are many more mysteries about Einstein's brain that remained unsolved but with the advancement in science and modern technology, they could potentially get solved very soon. May I, may I touch me? Yes. If you're curious for more content like this, please subscribe to my channel Just Curious for more. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.